anything. It's just going live. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. Uh, she does it better. <laughs> Do I with this hair? Uh -huh. Maybe Hello, not with the everybody. hair. <sighs> They're probably like, who the hell are these people coming on? We don't even know them. This is our quarterly update. We're going to turn it into a quarterly update. Is oh, that that's what doing? it's turning into. It's turning into a quarterly. Pam, uh, Pam's aspirations were weekly. <laughs> a little high. She, she likes to shoot high, though. I was shooting high, and we didn't even come close. So there's that. There's that. Um, so I don't like this. I like to be able to see who's coming on. How do you do that? Hmm. We're having some technical difficulties. We are. We haven't done this in so long that we don't even remember how to freaking do it. That's True. what's really bad. Well, she's trying to do it with a new device. Well, this, I guess it's not, it's not new. new. We've, We've done it, it the last couple times. times. Okay. When they comment, we can see. Hi, Elsie. Oh, my. Oh, my. Um, okay, we're going to give it a minute. It's because it's so freaking late already. It's 9.30. 9.20. But I said 9 to 9.30 we were coming on. Yeah, we did have a 10-hour day with doctors and then drove through rain and rush hour to get home. And then Pam went to the store to get groceries to cook dinner. Mm -hmm. And then she cooked dinner with very little help. Although Jakey helped it's a little bit. Yeah, it's still cooking. It's still cooking. Hi, so, Amy. Yeah, we're a little behind the, yeah, behind the ball behind. on the timing. That's, yeah. But you guys know us and you're used to it. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. It's definitely a wine night. Um, okay, so we're going to, um, I guess, jump in because, I don't know, what the hell. Because what it's 9.20, hell? dinner's in the oven. Hi, Molly. See you tomorrow. We have a weird glare. I'm having breakfast with Molly and Ginny tomorrow and Lindsay. It's a CF day. We're talking sham. Sham 2022. March 26th, is that official? We're discussing oh, it tomorrow, but... Discussing it. Pretty much. <laughs> Hi, Chooch! Um, so, okay. <clears throat> well, we, we, we just said we had a 10-hour day today. We left Elana. We had left the house at 8, uh, 8 o'clock, 8.15. Yeah. And got home around... I think the game plan was quarter to eight, but we didn't need that much time. The doctors yeah. were all behind. Even the MRI people were behind, and they're the yeah, ones that are always Virginia. pushing me. Um, yeah, so John had his MRI. He had an MRI today, which now he's doing every six weeks. We haven't updated y'all in so long, so here's what we kind of decided. We decided that we're going to give an update on today, give a little, try to condense, do the cliff note version of the last, I don't know, I don't even know when we last updated. I think it's five, six weeks. Oh, God. It's I think it was before. right after the last one we did a, a quick update. It wasn't quick, actually. It was, it was long. No, it's uh, been a while. It's been a real long while. Um, because we haven't talked about the last. Because, first of all, we've been traveling. It's been an interesting um, summer. Uh, May 15th, we put a picture up. Which was okay. two months ago. Okay. And uh, then we did a post on May 6th that was not alive. And then we did April 26th. <laughs> April 19th. We haven't done a live in a really long time. April 12th was the last time we did a live. Wow. Oh my God. There goes your weekly update idea. Wow. Hey, Kev. Anyway, okay, so. Um, We'll just, so here's what, hey, Lance, see you tomorrow too. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to give a little bit of a, a Cliff Notes version of what's been going on. And uh, and then it's kind of late. So we're going to try to um, fly through things. But we'll just say the last couple months, three months, it's been a bit of a shit show, y'all. Shit show. So, um, yeah, you can say that. Yeah. So, by the time we ever think about getting around to doing a live, we're both so freaking tired. We're just like, we just want to sit on the couch and watch TV. And, um, yeah. And there's Netflix. 
It just has a way of sucking you in. Netflix and Hulu. Oh, Hulu too, yeah. Yeah. And, and Disney. Disney. And yeah. Apple. Yeah. Ted Lasso. Comes Ted Lasso. Back on Friday. Yeah, we're screwed once Ted Lasso comes back. Um, so. We may need to just do a viewing party here for Ted Lasso. I would love to do that. And we can do a, an update at the same time. <laughs> Maybe. A live update. Hey, and Alex. Stream it. Tomazzini and Ginny, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Can't wait. Um, so, okay. Here's what we decided. We are going to give you an update, medical, a medical update. And then we will um, try to do a little bit of a condensed version of the shit show that has been the last three uh, months, apparently. Three to, three to six. Three to six. Hey, look at my Riverside people coming on. I miss you guys. Um, and um, Sneaky Pete, Peaky Blinders. There's all kinds of things out there I haven't watched yet. But... Okay. I need ADD meds. Yeah, you do. Um, so <laughs> we're going to do a quick update, tell you what happened today, and then uh, what's happened a little bit in the last few months. And then we're going to get into what, um, what, I mean, if you like train wrecks and you're the kind of person that slows down real slow, real slow. Just to watch when you see shit. a car wreck. Hey, you kick your neck. It's even in the other lane and you still look. Yeah. And then you hit somebody else in front of you. Talk about then you then you make your own accident. That's what we're going to talk about. We're not going to go deep because it's fucking nine thirty, and we haven't had dinner. And my alarm goes off in two minutes. I'm making sure it doesn't Um, burn. I'm making meatless Monday zucchini. I don't know how long that's going to last. We've had a full revolt from the kids. Oh, the kids are pissed off about it. Like meatless, nobody signed up on that. Dane and Lynn. Yeah, you didn't sign off on that, right? I was like, well, it's your mom. I'll sign off on whatever she's got going on. Meatless Monday. I'm like, yes. Yeah, that's what I want. Meatless. Yes. Well, vegetarian meal never hurt anybody. I will agree. Anyway, so went to the doctor today. We can give a little bit of a back update. So, um, so the last time we saw you guys... John was on this clinical trial with Visidine, and it was um, an infusion every, it's all a blur, six weeks. Every, no, 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 four. Four weeks. Three, every three. Three weeks. <laughs> no, so, one, that, once a week, I think it was once a week. It was once a week, oh my God. Clearly we're not on was, that anymore. It was once a week. Yeah, oh she didn't God. have to go through that shit. I did. And actually it wasn't terrible, it was just inconvenient. I think I go through plenty of shit though. You do. To be fair. To be fair, more than most humans deserve, honestly. Thank you. Appreciate you that. You come back kind of stronger. You get even more pissed off at the universe, and you're like, oh, I've been oh you want that? Off. Bring it. Come I've on. been a little pissed off. That's Jess. She was with me last weekend in L.A. I had some salty moments. She did. Yep. Um, anyway, what happened was <laughs> we were going to do an episode a month and a half ago or so, uh, episode that I wanted to call, what did I want to call it? Um, relationships, <laughs> resentments, that, and regrowth. <laughs> because, um, through, because, through the trial. I mean, in general, he's been on a little bit of a train wreck. We've been on a little bit of a train wreck, and it's really hard to do a episode to go live when you don't even fucking like each other. <laughs> so there's my alarm. Carry on. Yeah. So yeah, we were. It was it. You know, the stress level of dealing with all this crap, with me so having some more head, headaches and all sorts of stuff going on with being tired and sleeping all the time and not being able to work out. She was working full time and doing stuff with CF, and doing stuff with this whole cancer crap, and, 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 and. So you kind of get to a point where it's it's a little bit too much to carry. So I'm not sleeping. That's fair. So we had a come to Jesus meeting, meeting of the minds on the porch at the lake house. We'll talk about that later. So anyway, the important thing is we like each other again. 
Kind of. At the moment. A little bit. Just a little. We can tolerate each other. We appreciate each other a little bit more. <laughs> Tolerable. What'd you say? I'd say. Yes. So, uh, when were you kicked out of the study? He was kicked out of the study, had an MRI, so he was doing this thing once a week, and then and then uh, this this infusion once a week, and then um, then would do it for six weeks, get an MRI, then did another six weeks. But I got to take one week off. And so right before we were going to Orlando for volleyball. Yeah. Yeah. So it was two MRIs in a row that the first one showed what looked like regrowth. And the second one showed for sure regrowth. Um, so that was six weeks and six weeks. So we're well, living on this. It was kind of a, a hard transition because the first one originally uh, our oncologist was so excited to show like us the scans excited. that he it's almost, his clinical trial. almost burst down the door to show it to him yeah. to us because he thought that we had kind of made a landed a punch on glio he was, yeah, he was jumping right. out of his skin so and we were excited to, to kind of go we're like we're going to be on the cover of time yeah. that did not last it didn't last yeah so six weeks later it was a very different story he i think he kind of came to a conclusion that that other radiologists were kind of pointing out he was like okay i see what you're yeah. saying and where you were saying it, I can kind of see that again. So the way the clinical trial is always set up is they have standards or whatever you have to do to stay in the trial. And so one of the things was if there's any sign of regrowth for two in a row, you're automatically off. Mm -hmm. So he didn't, ha it wasn't his decision. It was just automatic. Yeah, it's his study, but their protocols are in place. And it was fine. I, I didn't feel like it was getting much better. I felt like I was... You know, I was having some issues with my left hand typing and that that was getting a little bit worse as we kind of went along so i kind of felt like yeah i don't think this stuff is really doing anything for me so getting off the study wasn't really a big blow to me it was a blow because it wasn't working and it was official that we couldn't have hope and something else working well, yeah and also because now that we're now th two clinical trials in yeah Two clinical trials in, two rounds of radiation, so no more options on there. Clinical yeah. trials dwindle sufficiently with each one that you do because you get excluded from future ones. Um, the side, the size of the tumor mass had, um, it's kind of like a little all over, but then they were also showing a new tumor spot right here, which is unusual for it to jump, but it's right there on the midline, right little tumor spot it's like it's balancing on a little like thread and and it's the doctor said that, with the olympics coming up yeah it's, like a balance like beam. Mm -hmm. it's much thinner than a balance beam it's like a hair <laughs> it's just like a hair yeah and he wasn't worried about that because it's you know there's all there is there is just like open area he said it's surrounded by water yeah so he's like so it's like it's like a it's like a monster five miles out at sea like you, you can that thing can grow right whatever now. you want it to it's not gonna it's not gonna affect you at all and if it gets too big we can hit it with a proton gun like and i think yeah so mm -hmm. we weren't overly concerned we're concerned that it went to another region and started growing in a different place which we've always known as being really not good not supposed but, to jump around. Yeah, the bigger concern was that other mass just getting, you know, having a field day and just continuing to grow. So we were seeing some decline in, in um, fine motor skills, balance, um, that kind of thing. We went, we were getting ready to go to, um, so we decided there's not really a lot of options at that point. So we're like, okay, let's just regroup, stay on the Avastin, stay on the meds that he's on, stay on the Karakop the care protocol, the London cocktail, staying on all that. And, um, God, my hair looks like shit. Um, that looks beautiful. <laughs> You're so good for the camera. I try. Um, and, uh, anyway, we just were staying the course and just like, well, shit, we just had a well shit moment. Yes. Lynn shit. It's just a shit moment where we're just like, okay. So, um, and then we were getting ready to go to Orlando for Beanie's volleyball tournament, 
which we're going to be there for a week. In the middle of like the last episode of The Handmaid's Tale, which is like the most intense episode in the world, and they're all intense. If you watch it, you know. And he decides he's going to get up and go upstairs to get ready for bed. I was like, what the fuck? So, but he does it anyway, and he goes up, and he's gone for a while. Which, often he leaves to go get ready for bed, and comes back down, but he didn't come back down, and I'm down here watching. And then I get a phone call from John Baker. Probably not a good sign. No. And he says, I I fell. I need help. I fell. And I was like, shit. So I go running up the stairs to a gigantic pool of blood y'all it's like a murder scene it was it was like a murder scene i was trying to get up and i couldn't because i was slipping and kept falling in my own blood it was bad tell them what happened so long story short I, I started feeling a seizure coming on down here and kind of when i feel that i exit stage left and go somewhere so that can just kind of work its way out and five minutes later usually it's done so i went upstairs and went down the hallway and it started getting really bad. So I got, we have like three stairs that go down to our bedroom door. And I was like, if I can just get to the bed, I can lie down and this thing will be done in like five minutes. And then I can go back down and finish watching that, that, that show with, with Pam. So I tried to get down there, tried to get down the stairs and totally bit it. Lost my balance going down the stairs and face planted into the door jam, door jam. and just broke up my face and I didn't break anything luckily but I, I felt like I did and I cut my lip here and it was just bleeding all over the place yeah so I so get up there I, I go running up I was trying to get up by myself because I figured if I got up I could get into bed again and just kind of restart it and not be embarrassed with Pam coming in and seeing me in this freaking nightmare so uh, <laughs> this is gonna be weird and talk about the blinders when I had to so eventually I, I, uh, I, I looked over, my phone was right there. I was like, don't be an idiot, just call her. So I, I was like, okay, I found her number and called her. Found it? You don't know it by heart. Uh, I didn't want to die. I just wanted to go and go to Pam. So I went to Pam and I called her. Is it, she is it called like love of my life? Oh, uh, no, it's not. It's like maybe, maybe it's what your, your, most beautiful your daughter person. calls me. Yeah, it's that one? Yeah. Yeah, Beanie has me listed in her phone as... Um... Psycho? No. No. Abusive psychopath. Oh, yeah, abusive psychopath. That's my name in her phone. Abusive psychopath. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I'll adopt that. Maybe I should adopt that name. Yeah. Yeah, see? I got proof. <laughs> um, <laughs> Someone likes that. <laughs> anyway. So I come running up the stairs in my yellow sundress that I somehow didn't get covered in blood. And I'm, he's not, it's almost like a stroke. It's almost like a stroke because the left side wasn't working. So he, he was like limp and I couldn't get him up and I'm trying, there's blood everywhere and blood down the door jam. And I'm like, oh my God, I have no idea what kind of injuries he's sustained at this point. I'm lifting him up and I can't, I can't, I can't lift him. It's the first for you Roswellians. It's the practice alive after five night. So Gavin's out with his friends at alive after five. And probably wouldn't be much help with his balance. She came back. He was probably three sheets. Oh, God. Yeah, Yeah. I'm sure. Um, So I run into Jake's room. Thank God he was there. Um, It's pretty late. So um, Beanie and Duncan were actually sleeping. It was almost midnight. You remember you asked me, you said, I need to go get Jake for help. Is that okay? Oh, I did? Yeah. I don't remember that. Very crazy. Very Oh, Good. I'm awesome. You, uh, that was really, that was really good. I didn't know that. Yeah, you did. I completely yeah. blanked I, on this that. This is an embarrassing sign. I don't know if he wants your his son to see him in this condition. And I really didn't, so I thought about it for a second. And then I was like, yeah, Damn it's fine. It. That was good of me. Yeah. I didn't know that. That was good. So Jakey gets there and gives me a little bit of leverage. So I get sitting up and then just kind of spin to turn and rest Jake, on the Jake back. Jake was cleaning you up while yeah. I was cleaning up yeah, Jake was, was trying to get me cleaned up and standing up. And Pam starts cleaning up all the blood from the floor and the door jam and the murder scene that had occurred there. And, assess, and then we have to assess the damage. And yeah, then we got to see if I if I got a concussion or, you know, or what. Where the blood's coming from. I had and no idea. Had no idea where all the she blood She starts was. looking at my lip and she's like, oh, yeah, you're going to need stitches for sure. 
Jake's like, yeah, I think you're right. So we went to the emergency room. Yeah, so we did the ER thing, which was mm -hmm. the right thing to do, but it was, um, yeah, we, we walked in. I, I, hadn't, I hadn't seen myself. I finally went to the bathroom. I was like, holy shit, who the fuck had punched you? It looked like I'd gone three rounds with Mike Tyson for sure. I'm going to find a picture and share. Thanks. I mean, I had to see it. None of it does it justice, though. When, it I've, when I've seen it, I'm like, that's not what I saw that night. Did you get a picture of the blood pool? No, because I was just cleaning. Oh, I was just crazy. Well, this was 